Dear colleagues, here is Dr. Tom Katz from Hamburg, Germany, and I would like to share with you some tricks to load the ICL lens in the injector. The lens is very thin, very flimsy, and uh, tends to fall out, to stick to the forceps when we pull the forceps back, or to fold around itself in the wrong direction. It is really Sometimes frustrating to spend so many long seconds just to put the lens inside. A preloaded uh, still does not exist. So uh, the manufacturer has several models of a coaxial loading forceps, which supposedly should make this uh, mission easier and uh, safer. They are round, they are serrated forceps, but to my experience, the experience of others, this is not complication free. We have to put the lens in the injector and to pull it from the front side with the forceps. And as we see here, the forceps cannot be opened. It is simply stuck and the end of the injector is too thin to open the mouth of the forceps and leave the ICL inside. So, um, of course, this is not an ideal form of the forceps. I myself have an experience with the round form. It was not stuck, but it did bite a piece out of the haptic. So, we can also use a much simpler technique with a very simple smooth forceps like Merferson that we all have. We just uh, fold the lens halfway, use a wet forceps and push it gradually with a half open forceps pushing the optic uh, border and the lens will squeeze itself down into the um, conus. Now we push the injector forward and we pull it backwards to make sure that the lens is not stuck with the pusher. We can also use the pusher itself without any uh, metal instruments. As you can see here, with enough uh, viscoelastic, we use this soft touch of the pusher to push the lens gradually and squeeze it without much effort into the conus of the injector. And we can also use the same movement to check the free movement of the lens. Another option is to use a Sinski hook. If the Sinski hook is very long and thin, it can be used from the front side. This Sinski hook is thick and not long enough, so we can use it from the back side. We can use the holes just to push the lens. And when we want to push it more, we have to come from below in order to be able to release the Sinski hook and not to push the lens outside with the hook. Very easy. And after we loaded the lens, we use the normal technique of implanting uh, the lens, which we all know. Here um, we chose a superior tunnel. It is supposedly more difficult, but um, I find it very helpful in correcting a very small amount of astigmatism, which is normally with the rule. This way the, the wound is also covered by the upper lid and is uh, more protected. Tucking the haptic is done in centrifugal movements, always flat, don't push on the crystalline lens, and using a little bit of rotation to slide the next haptic after the first one. So basically this is the normal technique. We can also fix the axis if we want. And to sum up, it could be frustrating. We need some practice. Make sure the aqua flow hole is on the top, the central one. And hope to see you again in the next video. Thank you very much.